first three primary dimensions of matter, length, height, width, the first three dimensions of secondary dimensions that deal with antimatter are sound, light, and time in that order. So length, height, width, sound, light, and time. In the tertiary set of dimensions, well, we'll just save that for later. These are at the quantum level and wholly different because of, well, fractals, of course. You knew that already, so there it is. A very kind friend asked me to define the secondary dimensions of antimatter. Of course, the primary dimensions of matter are length, height, and width, and lower depth, but there are other things such as antimatter that also require dimensions such as sound, that's a frequency, a scale, it's a pulse, but it's a measurement, light, it's a light year, it's a, it's a distance, it's also a spectrum of measurement, not really measured by length, height, or width, it can be, you know, it's a wave particle thing, but basically, it's not a, uh, it's not matter either, light is antimatter, and so is sound, and sound has to be the, of the three, uh, I guess then that would make sound the fourth dimension. Uh, sound has to come before light, so light would be the fifth dimension. And the reason why sound comes before light is because, uh, well, science tells us the Big Bang came before everything, uh, before even light itself, so they defined it as such. And the Bible did as well, saying that uh, the universe began with but a sound, but with a spoken word, and from then, there was darkness, but everything was there until once there was light, and once God said, and so let there be light, then at that point in time, light separated day from night and created time itself, therefore making time the sixth dimension.